The Constitutional Court has recently taken a pivotal step by summoning former President Jacob Zuma and his Umkonto Sizwe party to furnish their answering affidavits in response to the urgent legal appeal by the Electoral Commission of South Africa, with the deadline set on Thursday. This legal sag unfurled after the Electoral Court notified an objection of Zuma's candidacy in the upcoming elections, despite his 15 month contempt of court sentence. Consequently, Zuma's name has remained on the parliamentary roster for the MK party, pending the Electoral Court elucidation on its decision, which has been awaited for two weeks. While the nation awaits the comprehensive judgment from the Electoral Court, the Constitutional Court has signaled its preparedness to address the issue promptly. In a directive issued to Zuma and the MK party on Tuesday, the court specified that respondents opposing the appeal application must file answering affidavits on or before Thursday, 25th April 2024. Notably, Zuma's legal representative has yet to acknowledge the receipt of this notice, while the MK party has declared its intention to seek legal counsel regarding the Concord's directive. Additionally, the party accuses the IEC of engaging in political maneuvers rather than upholding electoral integrity. MK spokesperson Hamulon Leila, in an interview with the media, emphasized the party's apprehension regarding the impartiality of the Concord, especially in light of Chief Justice Raymond Zondo's past interaction with Zuma. Ndlela was quoted saying, We have consistently voiced concerns about the IEC conduct. From our perspective, their decision to pursue an appeal was unwarranted. The objection was not within their purview, end of quote. This development has raised the apprehension of the potential constitutional crisis, with Zuma himself insinuating that the IEC exceeding its mandate by delving into political matters. Zuma was quoted as saying, What a business that the IEC have melding in politics. Their role is to facilitate voting. What a business that the IEC have meddling in politics. Their role is to facilitate voting, not to determine the next next leader. They spotted my name and now they attempted to bar Zuma, he articulated. Contrary to these allegations, the IEC refuted any involvement in the political mechanization, asserting that its appeal aimed to resolve the legal impasses before the election date. The IEC was quoted saying, We observed that the orders were issued without a reasoned judgment. To comprehend the rationale behind these conclusions, it is imperative that the Electoral Court furnishes its reasons. Consequently, we will urge the Electoral Court to unexpectedly provide a reasoned judgment. End of quote. Moreover, the Commission disclosed that it is seeking legal counsel on the matter and intends to chart its course based on the expert advice and the reasoned judgment it anticipates receiving in the near future.